Um, I want to work at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and be an emergency consultant. My dream job is being in the MBA. I want to be an architect. I want to be an anesthesiologist. When I finish school, I'd really like to be an actor or a singer. I hope to be a, a swimmer, an Olympian swimmer. When I grow up, I want to be a part of the Mounted Police. I really don't know what I want to be, but this school is so amazing. It's something that's going to help me find out what I really want to be when I grow up. Today is enormous in the life of a Year 7 student, so there is so much work that goes into transition leading to today, but today is the epitome of all that work where students join us and uh, have a great day getting to know their mentors, getting to know the head of year and to really get a sense of the wonderful community we have here at Ivanhoe Grammar School. I guess my favourite piece of advice um, at the beginning of Year 7 um, is a quote. Today I have the power to change my story. It's a new beginning, a new chapter, an important milestone um, in a young person's life. An unofficial theme of Year 7, if you would like, is best yourself. And what we want our students to demonstrate is their best. And what we show them from the beginning is that everyone has a different level of best. Well, today is definitely a big step from primary school. But knowing that the teachers and the mentor group leaders, they're really nice, it made today really fun and it wasn't that nerve wracking. Yeah, I've been looking forward to high school for a long time and finally being able to be there and meet new people has been a really great experience. Online school was really difficult so I much rather being at school, it's a lot more fun. Ivanhoe is definitely a very big school with a lot of good facilities. We didn't really have that at my primary school. Yeah, I find the grounds really like amazing. They're just really high quality. There's definitely a lot of opportunities. We're looking towards Year 12 right from the start, so organisation, good study skills, um, the, the things that are going to set them up. So there's so many exciting possibilities that we introduce them to. We make sure we sort of split students up um, so they're not necessarily with people they already know from primary school to start to get to know a lot of new people who are joining the school. Yeah, I made a lot of new friends. Uh, I made like 10, 20, 30, 40. I can't count them all. Seems like a really good school. It looks like I'm going to enjoy my years here. I got a laptop and I got to put all my books in my locker. I have a tall locker which is right in the middle and then someone under me is taller than me and she has to bend down. There was definitely a vibe about this group who maybe were, we're not taking this for granted because in a blink of an eye, it, it got taken away from us last year. I am really lucky to work with a really passionate team of teachers who go above and beyond every single day. I would rate the teachers a 10 out of 10. They're very friendly and like welcoming and warm. They're amazing, they're uh, so polite, so nice and uh, help a lot. The teachers are really encouraging and supportive. Like excellent nice, I can't like, it's so nice that it's just too nice. <laughs> there were no tears at the start of Year 7 and that is phenomenal. It looked like everybody had found their place, they had connected with their mentor, that's key. We're a wonderful genuine community so the students that we have really enjoy coming to school but you know there's ups and downs with the school journey and I like to make sure that I'm there for the students and, and um, help to build resilience because I'd love to promise families that it's going to be 100% okay all of the time but we know life doesn't work that way. I want our families to trust us. Every decision we make, my whole team has their child's best interests at heart and we get to know that child. Trusting that their child is making the right decisions. And yeah, they might make a mistake, but it's okay. They'll learn from that. They won't do it again. But giving them that, that chance to, to grow.